The year was 2009 when BMW first decided to lend its M badge to its all-wheel drive X models. The results were quite spectacular. Well, now we have the second generation of these cars right here in India, the X5M and the X6M. We are at the Chennai racetrack. You know what the drill is. The X5M and the X6M are inseparable from the front and it's only when you get to the three quarters that you can actually tell the five's typical SUV form from the six's distinctive coupe form. The very large intakes up front and the flaps are absolutely functional considering the size of the radiator. At the back, the two are at their most distinctive with the X6 coupe form even getting its own spoiler. Quad pipes and M badges all around, oh and those massive 21 inch M light alloys round up what separates these special versions from the standard X5 and X6. In fact, even when you get inside the cars you won't realize which one you're driving till you notice your rear view mirror and the rear visibility in the X5M and the lack thereof in the X6M. Anyways, let's find out despite all of BMW's efforts, are the X5M and the X6M really meant for track days? Right, BMW say that the M is the most powerful letter in the English language. Now Mercedes-Benz will tell you that the M is the most powerful letter in the language, which is prefixed and suffixed with an A and a G. And Audi will tell you it's the R and the S and so on and so forth. But it's when you put an M or an AMG or an RS into an SUV that things tend to become a little more interesting. While the M3 and the M4 were fine on the Portimao racetrack, we are on the Chennai track in the X5M and the X6M. Right, this is gonna be fun, or not. The engine is the same 4.4 litre twin scroll twin turbo unit that does duty on the current M5 and M6, but of course, it has to make more power to match the bulk of these brutes. This 4.4 litre V8 makes about 4% more power and about 10% more torque. But they also claim that it's 20% more efficient, more fuel efficient, and it emits lesser CO2, but we're not going to touch that right now. It's a little bit sensitive until we have our own tests in place. Performance is tarmac destroying as you'd imagine. The 2.3 ton beast accelerates from standstill with launch control on to 100 in 4.2 seconds. Ridiculous, right? Now instead of a double clutch gearbox, BMW have a single clutch torque converter 8-speed automatic gearbox which they claim does the job as effectively as a double clutch gearbox. And it is when you drive on the track that you actually realize that there is just a slight bit of a difference between the two in terms of the quickness, but it's almost right up there alongside the dual clutch gearbox. The intelligent all-wheel drive system has a predominant rear bias, which is for better handling, but um, there is a multi-plate clutch that can transmit the power from the back to the front almost 100% when it senses the requirement. BMW have also developed a sense of humor and they have an MDM mode in this like the M3 and the M4 which just allows control drifts. Control drifts in an X5 and an X6 that weighs about 2.3 tons. Right. Let's find out. After driving other M cars, you won't really call the X5M and the X6M Drift Kings. Sure, you can get them a bit sideways, but the all-wheel drive system doesn't really agree with your demands and promptly sends more power to the front wheels to police your naughty intentions. BMW have also tuned the front wishbones, specifically increased the upper wishbones camber and optimized the steering axis. They've dropped the ride height by 10mm and all of this is intended to improve its cornering ability. So, do the X5M and the X6M belong on a racetrack? Have BMW managed to convert me? Well, not entirely. But let me tell you this, at no point did I feel the discomfort that you would associate with an SUV on a racetrack. So BMW, a job well done.
Right. This, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is the inevitable result of power sliding a two and a half ton mammoth with 575 horsepower and four wheel drive. Was it the best of ideas? Probably not, but then who cares? It was just outstanding fun.